In the early 1990s, J&J Flooring Group, like Dalton's other carpet manufacturers, was sending hundreds of thousands of pounds of carpet refuse to local landfills. For every 1,000 square feet of carpet it produced, it sent 250 pounds of waste to the landfill, a level of disposal that J&J's leaders understood was not sustainable for local landfills or the company itself. Now, carpet scraps are put back through an extrusion process and the raw materials are reintroduced to the manufacturing line. It took a 20 plus year waste reduction journey, but in 2015, J&J &J was certified as a zero waste to landfill manufacturer. And today, even refuse that can't be recycled is sent to a waste to energy facility in Huntsville, Alabama. Is if you go back 25 years ago, there was an article in the Dalton Daily Citizen that indicated our company along with six other companies were the leading uh, users of the local landfill. It was kind of one of those lists that you don't want to be on. And that motivated our leadership. They said, come on, we can do better than that. And uh, as a direct result of that, and of course other initiatives, but this is 25 years ago, back before green was even a term, uh, they said, let's just do better, and we did. These initiatives have not been without cost. In fact, based strictly on a profit-based metric, achieving zero waste to landfill status didn't always add up for J&J's bottom line. But J&J's business model considered goals not measured solely by the accountant's ledger. Financially, it's been more expensive, but what it does is it sends a message to every one of our associates and every one of our customers and every one of our competitors that we're serious about it and it's easy to communicate. So we believe the, uh, the view has been worth the climb. Because really as a company, as a citizen of this community, we are really supposed to, to help the environment. We're supposed to help our stakeholders, and, including our associates and employees. And we're obviously there to help the economy. So it's a triple bottom line. And this one plays into the environment. It's the right thing to do.